This video demonstrates the use of IGW to create a 3D groundwater model with plume transport. Various forms of releasing plumes are illustrated, namely through discharge from a lake, recharge into the aquifer, an instantaneous source, and through an injection well. This video also illustrates how to assign the plume to a portion of the aquifer layer, that is to say, a plume that is partially penetrating and not initially present throughout the entire layer thickness. The results of the plume transport are visualized in plan and cross-section views. The steps to create the model are as follows. 1. Load the IGW model from the previous example of a three-dimensional model. The first layer consists of a rectangular polygon with constant hydraulic conductivity and thickness. and the river at the eastern edge of the first layer. All other boundaries in the model are no-flow boundaries. Within the model domain, the first layer also includes two polygons, one that represents a lake near the western edge and the other an area of prescribed recharge in the middle of the domain. The second layer consists of a confining unit of uniform thickness. A polygon with higher hydraulic conductivity is also included to represent a break in the confining layer. The third layer consists of a deeper confined aquifer with two wells. One that pumps water from the aquifer and another that injects water into the aquifer. Also included is a cross-section along the middle of the model domain with a specified vertical exaggeration for convenient display of the flow system. The model is first discretized and run forward to get the flow contours. Three, to simulate plume transport, various methods for introducing a plume into the model are illustrated. First, the lake in layer one is assigned a source concentration. Select the lake in Attributes Explorer, go to the Source and Sinks tab, and then go to the Head Dependent Flux sub tab. Check the concentration box under Head Dependent Flux two-way and enter a constant value. The recharge polygon is also assigned a concentration. In the Source and Sinks tab, Go to the Prescribed Flux subtab. Check the Recharge Concentration box under Recharge and enter a constant value. Next, assign an instantaneous source. Go to Source and Sinks and then the Prescribed Head slash Concentration subtab. Check the Instantaneous box under Source Concentration and enter a constant value. Then go to the Elevations tab, click on Partial Penetration at the bottom of the window and in the window that pops up, check the Z upper and Z lower boxes and enter constant values. This allows the source concentration to partially penetrate the aquifer rather than be present throughout the entire aquifer thickness. 4. Go to layer 3 and select the injection well. Under the Concentration tab, enter a constant value for the contaminant which will be injected into the aquifer along with the water. Five, increase the number of vertical computational layers in each of the conceptual layers while discretizing the model. This is done to ensure that the resolution is fine enough to minimize numerical dispersion of the plumes. Note that the subdivide following shape of water table box is checked. Six, run the model forward. Note the movement of multiple plumes toward the river on the eastern side of the model 
and through the break in the confining unit to the pumping well in the third layer.